Hello everyone, me phone here, and welcome back to the second game of the Stanley Cup playoffs. This time, the Hudson River matchup is about to put a rival matches at the Garden. The Devils and the Rangers are ready to battle for it again. The Rangers are back in the lead by one in the series, but the Devils may have experiences that they want to do it again. Well, we'll have to find out if they can try to take it over with the advantage score. In between the scores from Jack Cruz and, of course, from free players of Mika Zibanejad, Adam Fox, and Artemi Panarin, there might be another one that could try to take him over for the shot. And we might see that Mir might be able to take him for over for the first look at the angle. That's a trade-off for the players that you may not even recognize of what this game will be. And probably that might be the goaltender here, or V-check for sure. Could be a hard one to try to be lifting up from the new players in between. And that might be the next one. The next commentary on the line will be Son of Beast along with Fan and the Center Ice will be on another one to take a look for another player of this game. And that will be Test 2. Anyway, let's get this game on the road. On to the Garden. Enjoy the next game. A great day for the hockey of the Stanley Cup playoffs. This is game four of the Rangers and Devils. Hello everybody, I'm Son of Beast along with Ben and we're along here we have this test tube. This is the Stanley Cup on EA Sports. Let's get the game started. The courtesy matchup is being here as follows. We have his Aaron Adam Fox. There is Terrence Senko on the other side. Mika Sabanajad right toward the middle. Hamilton on him right for Devils of his own. Then it's Tatar right toward the side. Mercer right in front of it. Lindgren is in the other hand. And then we have across from here is Chris Kreider. And the, the last side of it where we have across from the other angle here is Adam Fox. Now back over again is Sabanajad. He fires the puck across the ice. Igor Shosturkin is a starting goaltender for the New York Rangers. He's definitely played here one of the best here before. They also called him a goat because of what he could do. He could definitely try to make a great save out of him. And for that moment, he really has turned out one of the bestest to, make them, to maintain their way on the goal. Here's the tar right towards the inside of his own in neutral to face off in possession. Rebounded up, we have his Artemi Panarin. Mika Zibanejad with the puck. Off with the puck. Now Kane has one. Scoop up along the board is Jesper Bratt. Artemi Panarin covers a steal. Jacob Truba. That stop on the goaltender. Severson. Rolls over. Mika Zibanejad with the steal. To Panarin. Chop blocked in front by Zendenhaller. That's a great block here on defensive one because Sagan Muller was never really showing it off. And I mean, that would have made it off to a trouble sign. But without that, it's very not hard to make a congestion out of it. They might have to maintain it. Kane in the zone. Shot! And it goes in wide with the traffic zone. Truba with the recovery now goes swinging off to Kane. Kane swings to Miller. Miller giving a switch back over to Truba. He gives it to Bedero. Off to Trocek. Shot block from the backhand. Miller in the middle. That one goes off a carry. Kane with the puck. Stop the puck again by the goaltender. Now Hughes Hughes has been able to score one of the games in game three. And now he's up in game four. Artemi Benarin trying to pull it back from the other way. Severson's got the puck in the corner. Graves gives it off to Mir. Mir in the zone. Trying to look in front. Igor's was circling with the big stop. That Igor's was circling was really trying to maintain his run. Pressure, but not really. That's what it all has to turn out. Schneider gives it off to Lafaniere. Cujito back to Lafaniere. With a move around, and will be stopped by Vichek. 
Vitek is the starting goaltender for the New York New Jersey Devils. Looking for his running way to hit it back from the pull-out shot to make that one a stop and counter run. Yeah, it's pretty clear that he, whenever he does this for before, he has to do it once again. Because it's not really redemptious to try to like take the shots over it. That's very difficult. But don't try to let him get away with that. That's what they really need to do and try to stick better. VC right towards the middle. Try to give a pass, but Wood takes over. Mile Woods over to Severson. Slings the puck over to McCloy. McCloy, VC, try to put a little bump on Severson. Kudrow's got the puck in the corner. Now finds Miller. Off to Snyder. Back to Miller. Moved around the open man on offense. Shot. Stopped by Vitek. He scores! Barclay Kudrow. That's his first and 14th goal in the playoff game. Pretty good execution here. When Barclay Kudrow made the backhand shot, he was right toward it. What a nice deflection, and that's a good goal to maintain its way. Barclay Goodrow with the first goal in Game 4. He now has 18 and trying to maintain its run pressure. They now have a one nothing lead to maintain its run. Now Snyder gives it over to Zabatajak. Fires the puck in deep to Kreider. Now Kreider swings to Tarasenko. He gives off to Snyder. Snyder. Pump the pass out as Mustaine has it. Mustaine, right on him in. Taking the puck over as McCoy. Zabanajad swings back over to Kreider. He gives it back over, back over to Tarasenko. Mercer has the puck in. Hitchner recovering the puck as Mercer went down. Now he's slow to get up already. It looks like he was very having a forceful trying to regain the group. Not very easy to make that call if you ever want to stay in play. Here's Kreider on the outside. Gives the puck over again to Zibanejad. Zibanejad swings to Kako. Kako Kako right to Adam Fox. Back to Ryan Lindgren. Lindgren, shot! A little deflection in here as the Tar had a piece of it. Lindgren got it back! Shot was broken wide as Kreider makes a rebound. Passing the midway period and the marker of the first period. A lot of back-to-back -back switches in between the passes for the New York Rangers keeping an eyes on the puck. Yeah, you really like to keep that one of back-to-back -back -back passes. Very well if you're trying to maintain it. All with the run. They have it again. Here's Fox. Back to Zibanejad. Zibanejad clearly looks at deck, but it's Vichek with the stop. Holding the puck here with 8.42 to go in the first period. Players are set, ready to take the face off in a attacking zone. Rangers start with a 1 0 lead in the first period. Running at ice center with Miller. Battling along the loose puck, trying to look for an open, clean look. Miller gives off to Lafreniere. Lafreniere in the middle of the zone. After Kane, back to Trocek. Almost tipped the puck away as Kane holds on. And it's going to be happening now. Oh, this never, really never happens to be like Patrick Kane was already been lifting badly. He was, looks like he was a battle aggressive on that one. The attacker was not really good. And he was ready for him. But he has no idea if he wants to take the battle of it. He's, not, he's like very that far. He may not have it. With the eye on the puck. Stop again by Shosturkin. Seven minutes going by in the first period as Kane reaches across here on the ice. Now Miller, shot, deflected, and it's on Vanacek. We'll hold the puck with 6.47 to go in the first period. Coming still 1-0. 1-0 it is a play for the Rangers in the lead. Now they're ready to take the face off. With the win. Pollock in the center. Now in the Rangers territory. Shot! Good contact, but it was ticking too soon. Morelli needs to serve things up a little bit. Poked away, and he scores! Hala with the first goal in game four as Pollock takes the assist. 
you know this is what's definitely happening because that's what the rivals are always about. Eric Kala had that one deflected in. The game is tied up now with one ones in the game. Very tough one to clear out of it as Hamilton and the team are trying to get themselves right on the money line. Now Monty has one. Keeps the pass open right to VZ. Hamilton takes it over. Take a little bump out of it as now VZ grabs it over again to Moto. Moto trying to swing it across. Vanacek hold the puck and we'll have to wait here for 534 remaining. Teams are ready to take the face off in a Devils territory. 534 left to go in the first period. It is now a tie game. Woods, right toward the back of the angle to Bustain. Bustain moving it over from the offense zone. VC has a puck. Recovering it again, Bustain. With a little bump out of here. Now Schneider has the puck. Reaches over to Moto. Back to Goodrow. Looking for two. Rebounding the puck is Graves. Graves gives up to Wood. New Jersey back in offense now. Now Moto to Peel. Peel sliding it down with a big banger. Attackers very that impossible. They're not going to try to like just say, oh, they're going to really are attacking again. That's not because of what they did. Wood on the fast break. Poke it away, but it's stopped made by Shesterkin. Very well to save that one again. All it does, they need to keep it going again once more. Kako delivering the puck over to Lindgren. Slob shot with it now. Rebound is taken away by, by Hughes. Now Fox has it now. Trying to watch the player. Good squeeze in. Tarantzenko outside. Back pass to Lindgren. Over to Hito. Shot! Stopped by Zvichek. Fox to Lindgren. 2.45 left to go in the first period. They're still trying to get the lead in. When made a goal, but Vanacek says no stop. Can't fool it. Now we have the call for paintbrush. Jack Hughes, the Erie Edges has a lot of places to make him pay for. He has a lot of defensive to try to go with the cutting sharp edges at this moment. Right now for Terrence Senko, he has his own with his ability to take his own word right towards the back of it. When he gets a snipe, he can try to deliver it from here from the back of an ending of the game to try to maintain his way. These guys are very impressed in the game. I'll be keeping an eye here on Jack Kuz and Tarasenko. They too have a lot of pace with what they're going to get there in front of it to try to stop and slow it down. Back to you guys. Truba scores! Deflected on Vanacek! And Truba's lead is now back up by one. Now I have to say, Jacob Truba got a deflection in there. It looks like he did hit the goalie right towards the pad, and it went in. Pretty excellent goal here for Jacob Truba. The captain of it was turning out terrific. Jacob Truba, an excellent player for the captain. When he delivers that one here, he was able to try to make his own word. The captain really wants him. And that's what Jacob Truba has done because they have a lot of assistant goal captains here and only one for Mika Sabatajan. Now for Jacob Truba, he may be able to hold on until he's ready for the next level. Stopping the play inbound is Shostorkin. Who's? Oh, made up in a trouble stop. Under a minute to play in the first period. Two to one is the lead for the Rangers. Off to Panarin. Trying to make it snappy. Nice one time shot. And Vincent Trocek makes a goal. Great pass here for Panarin. I like that one when he makes the quick moment. You see what Panarin has it because a take to take feed was giving it off to Trocek. And a one timer. That's a booming shot. Very well done here. The extension lead right now comes into a Rangers 3 1 lead with under 30 seconds to go. Trocek wins the faceoff. Lindgren right towards the back of the line is Kane. Trocek on the outside. Gets it to Benarin. Blocked the shot by Hamilton. Moir 
right to Pratt. Try to go with the shot, and Panarin will close the game. Worst start for the Rangers. They picked it up with a trunk check shot after Panarin. We'll get the second period coming up after this. Opening face off for the second period, ready to get going. Clear sheet of ice, on back play. Ready to take on with the next one. Devils and the Rangers are a very tough team since they have played it since 2011-12. Yeah, they're very the top. Because of that one, it looks like that Marty was the only goaltender that was ever done it before. I don't think this was an ever to happen beer because the back in 2016 was a tough one to make a release. All because of this one, we know for one player of advantage, they may not have anybody to take over it. I mean, this is the part of the game that everybody really has done. And that's because they really have an option to give that one a go for. Here's Sigan Haller. Right towards the middle of the glider. Gives it over nothing in front as Lindgren takes it over. Hamilton poked it away and tried to deflect it from Sisterkin. Kreider down to the other side now. He gives a pass over to Mika Zibanejad. Around the backhand. Rebound in front. That stop here by Vanacek. Chuba swings it to Zibanejad. Miller on the outside of the right. Rangers keep the puck moving. Chuba swings to Miller. Keandre shot. Stopped again by Vanacek. With the shot. That stopped a good save here by Vanacek. Yeah, he's very at a good hustle here. I mean, give that one a call because that was a very tough one in making him play inbound. Trojak on the back the other way. Recovers the puck for Kreider. Two guys went down as Hamilton will take the rebound. Sigan Haller to Hoos. Hoos swings to Sigan Haller. Back to Hamilton. Brett finds Hoos. Blocked the shot by Truba. Trojak tries to kick it front. Now Kreider has the puck. Rolling it back, back over again to the Devil's territory is Kane. Pass the Hedo. That's broken up here by Hughes as he holds it on but lost the puck control. Yeah, nothing else to say about this one here because the losting puck control is very that hard and dissentful. Not really sure what they're going to have to do. They're really going to need to try to fix it up again in order to stay alive. Hold on. Right to Grace to Hughes. Hughes and McCullough. Try to move it around. Pilot shot. That's kicked away here by McCullough. Beetle and Graves will hold the puck. That deflected off, but Bogvist has it back. Now Pilot. Pilot gets smashed up by Heedle. McCullough, I should admit. Lafreniere will try to hold it. And now he's back into the offense. Very close call because you don't want to go back on the offside. Here's Graves in the middle. Moving towards the middle of it. Shot stopped in two point traffic range. Capocacco on the wing. Get a little slam out of it, but holds the puck down. Capocacco shot. Try to flip it in, but it's Marino. With the, with the shot blocked. Fox. Shot looked out. And pad saved here by Vichek. Vichek's really saving it because that was very not hard to maintain its pressure. Not really too much of it because that was all that did turn out. Wood towards the middle. VC recovers it. Gives it to Goodrow. Maintains the Kako. Shot. Stopped by Vichek. Vichek. And that will be holding with 12.22 remaining in the second period. With the both goals in this game, Rangers have a 3-1 lead over the Devils score in just first period of the game. Really have that one out there. Might be showing off that game. Hopefully there might be somebody else that can do it. Wood swings off, and Morda didn't have it recovered. Marino to win. That stopped by Shesterkin. Shesterkin really had a piece of a save here, trying to like maintain it. 
Try to stop the player. You gotta stay in contact. Go up save by Shisterka. Now swings to VZ. VZ swings to Gudra. Kicking the puck back over again to Moto. Now to Kreider. Shaw with the puck. Look, Marino has it stopped out as Vanacek with a save. A stain and a shot. One timer school, unable to make the play. Now back to Gudra. He fires the puck right over to Sarensenko. Ball recovers it. Now back to Pastain. Gives it off to Tatar. Tatar right towards the wing. Tries to pat the pass. Ooh, when misfired it. Devils made a mistake. Yeah, it looks like the puck was out of here. Trying to run for its escape. Tatar right over again to McCloy. McCloy with the block shot. Nice stop made. Terrence Senko. Nope, because of Anajad. Tatar with the puck. New Jersey back into the Rangers territory. With Mercer. Shot. Stop by Sisterka. Snyder to Kane. He is all on one and two. Oh, Pats and, and Puck to shoot it is stopped. And Hamilton with the puck. Passing the midway period already. Tatar shot goes wide. Hamilton. And now with and now with back the arrow away to Trocek. Delivers the puck to Kane. Try to give a Puck back over again to Artemi Panarin. And Lindgren sends it offside with under eight minutes. Now both teams are ready to take the faceoff inbound. Score now is 3-1. No score here in, every, in this period yet. What a new change. Moves. Right toward around Lindgren and it's stopped made by the goaltender. Excellent stop here. That was a better play for Shesterkin. Panera goes right over to the corner, back to Fox. Fox swings to Lindgren, shoots it from the line, only to flank it in there, but it's stopped by Vanacek. Came back over again to Lindgren. Fox carries offside as the puck went out of the blue line. We'll get a new changeup coming up. Now the puck is ready to take an inbound here, as right now the Rangers still have a possession in the play. Ito wins the faceoff. Lindgren fires the puck across here to Fox. Fox swings over to Kako, back over again to Fox. Keep the puck going for Kako to Lafreniere. Lafreniere kicked the puck away and it goes back out of play. The offense is very that running tag difficulty. I don't think this wasn't able to happen because, you know, it was very tough for them to try to keep it in balance. They don't have the right possession. They gotta fix it and they gotta make a run go run work to play your own offense and then you gotta try to pick it up. That's the part of it that they need to do. Now he finds Lafreniere down a new line switch. Kako lost the puck. Here comes Mir for the Sharks. Who's kicked away by Chesterkin. Sabanajad down to five minutes to play in the second period. Their team is still keeping it going. Deep pass to Pallad. Back to Brad. Brad swinging towards the wing. And block the shot will not stop here as Brad recovers. Graves towards Severson. Up to Halla. And stopped again and goes down. Puck carries out. Toward the wall is Banajad. Tarasenko moves over to Chuba. Flings off to Sabanajad. And back to Miller. Shooting it back over to Chuba, now back over again to Miller. Miller carries offside. Now making quick too much feet movement, and he'll have to stop the play with under four minutes. Now the players are set, ready to take the face off in a neutral zone. Score is still 3-1, no changing lead. Snyder over to Moto. Reaching across again to Park like Goodrow. Last period was his only first goal in the playoffs. We really had done. 
one of his best in this game. Yeah, you could see that, that when Barclay Goodrow has that one, I better go. His playing of his technique scores really had turned out to be one of the better plays. And they have that goal. His jury is going back down by one. His jury just really have that one spoken. They really got to show it off what they are going to need to try to do. They try to make it in tame. His jury was just going right toward it. As the tar's going, he was going to make it long. And he gave that one the right timing to his gear. He has that right in towards imbalance of this pace. He's really well to keep his right on his, on, on his good attackers. But when his next game comes in, he might have it all to do it once more. I'll be keeping an eye so on you on his turn with the next play inbound. Back to you guys. Good job with the putt. Oh, moved it in, but got a little trip over it on the player. Now back to McCullough, and an empty net is empty as the penalty calls on New Jersey. That will be a slashing call with 2.09 left to play in the second period. Issues in the penalty box. Yep, there's a call. That's what you can't do. The slash of this one was too risky. And now the power play comes in for the New York Rangers. 2.09 left to play in the second period. Might have to have a little more room if they could try to fit it in. Tosses up. Tarasenko with the puck. Now swings to Trocek. Rangers are on that power play advantage. Kako. Bad pass. This one goes over to Lafreniere to try to grab it. Now it's Trocek with the puck. Nearing 90 seconds in the first, first and second period. It's Kako with the puck. With a fast break. Fast to Trocek. And he scores! Vincent Trocek! It's a power play goal! I don't think that Vincent Trocek was able to try to deflect it. It looks like he did. And it was right behind it. I had never seen what this play was going to go for for Vincent Trocek. That was like a good deflection. And thanks for the assistant. And it looks like the Rangers are stepping up big to go for the leadoff change to 3-1. Kako with the assist, now here's Siegenhaller. Finds Mir, he hoos and goes back the other way, down by one. Jack Koo's first goal in game four. He now has two in the power play. Oh man, it looks like Jack Coos was able to once revenge out there, says, Nowhere, no quit, you gotta stop now, because it's my turn. That's what everyone's doing, because Mir was giving it off to Jack Coos instead of his run. I'll be keeping an eye on here for Jack Coos if he has an update for the next one and play in possession, guys. Nearing down to the end of the second period, it's a 4-3 lead for the New York Rangers. Segan Aller blocked it up by Kane. Panarin race towards the Kane. Kane gets smashed right towards the wall. And there's a penalty call. This one calls for the interference. Segan Aller not looking so good out there. I don't think this is not really well enough to try to like pressure it on. Because you can't interfere anybody. And holding is a bad thing that he was trying to push. So yeah, he did use two hands. That's the problem that they're going to go for. Nearing down the end of a second period, the power play is on New York Rangers. Trocek. Panarin. Backhand wasn't even ready for Panarin. The puck goes all the way down back towards the ice. Behind the net. Fox delivering it over to Kako. Back to Lafreniere, try to beat the buzz with the power play, rebound, and stop by Vanacek. That will do for the second period. Power play goal, and now Jack Coos comes back to start try to stop the pressure for the goal of the Rangers. Third period, underway next. It's the third period, Rangers and Devils. With still a power play coming in, it's only the third period, four and three. 
Well, we have the blast, and hopefully, you hopefully enjoyed this part of the next rival matchups as the Devils face on against the Rangers in the Hudson River. What is the best thing that you really liked in Paintbrush? I mean, fan. Well, I gotta say, it looks like they're doing really well. The offense is very well. A lot of uh, passing aggressiveness is a very tough one. Not really too much going on out there because my passing was very the top. And not to say about it because there was a lot of them that was turning out to be very on a hard on occasion run. Because of that one, it really did turn out that the very uh, top players are really going out, out of focus right now. But now for the Rangers, they really keep on re rebounding the puck. Hopefully we can definitely do that one here. They can do that once more. Fox moving in. Stop here by Vichet. He's ready to go. Rangers ended up with the power play of the, of the third period after a second period's finish. Now it comes in for the third period. Yeah, good job on defense. But it looks like they're just trying to keep this one thing up. All we have to do, just got to keep your right man's on the cover. Most players are making the attackable run. With the scoring of the offense, it's not really that going to be cooperated to make that one play. Every move or every step along the way, they got to get this one fixed. Here's Hischer, right back to Tatar. The Devils are on their way to make the Rangers own attack. That goes back over to Zabanajad. He fires the puck across to Lafreniere. Lafreniere moves over to Fox. Back over to Panarin. Panarin moves back over to Fox as they move the puck around again. Kane on the other hand. Seemingly not to do it anywhere, but Panarin. The shot! It's deflected off of Zibanejad. Severson right back over to Tatar. He's going to attack for the wing. Moving in. And the bass is broken up. Not a very good cue. They got to get this one right. Jack Cruz in the middle. That's stopped here by Adam Fox. Tatar right to Mercer. Shot stopped by Shesterkin. Shesterkin got a very good one. Got a piece of it, and he really keep that one on going. Every time he has that one in here, just, just keep that one going. That's a hard one to maintain its pressure, and on the way, it's very uh, tough to maintain that one. He's got a good uh, keeping it good with the puck in the zone, and try to keep it out. Amir pass over to Brat, back to Hughes. With the middle, and a good save made by the goaltender. Double man attackers battling for the loose puck. Trooper right down, right towards the back of the net. Now over to Hedl. New York picking up Steve here in the Devils territory. Passes off to Kako. He dish off to Panarin. Make it snappy! That's blocking just shots view and it's Jimmy Vizi with the rebound. Every rebound you gotta take. You gotta uh, take, a, take a step to it now. Don't leave it hanging there. Or Timmy Panarin outside. Takes a shot, scores! He makes it snappy. It's Artemi Panarin's second goal. That's his 10th goal in the playoffs. Pretty good muscle out there. Artemi Panarin was making the goal out there. Right around V-Check, he was making that one to make it snappy. Artemi Panarin, can you see? This is what's definitely the tough one for him, you guys. Because of Artemi Panarin has a snappy shot. His vision was taken over with the with the goal as he has that one with a better, better shot at the angle. And because of his well performance of his run, he takes it over and he has that one puck right towards the line of the edge. Now he has room for more. Back to you guys. Barclay Goodrow face over back to P. Andre Miller, back to Goodrow. Pass almost broken up. Drew ball back over to Miller. He swings the puck over again to Vizi. Seeking Haller with the puck now back over to Beekquist. To Halla. The Devils are in the offense zone to pick up Steve. Rebounding over back to Vizi. Vizi getting a little slam out of it. Orvitz back to Moto. New York picking a run on the offensive zone to go for the attack. Cryer gets knocked down. 
Bogvist in her wing. To Hala. Block the shot. Rebounder here saved up by Shesterkin. Shesterkin really loved to get this one right around the clock. Because of that one, it's very uh, difficult to maintain it. Because of that one, it's not very uh, easy to try to reach over with a shot. That's hard, but you can't just sweep the offense with a better angle. It's very uh, difficult to try to get over it. Mika Sabanajad. Magnetic shots can be taken over from the uh, athletic in the range to try to pick him up through inbound. He can look for the offense to take in inbounding for the players after he makes a pass. When he gets a shot, Mika Sabanajad fires it from the magnetic shot and maintain his way on the board. This is a guy that you all have to look out for him. I'll be keeping an eye here on Mika Sabanajad. Guys, back to you. Wood moving around over. Snyder with the puck. Pass to Sabanajad. Second hauler. The puck clears out of the Rangers territory. Good stop by Sestorka. We'll hold the puck here with under a mid-period to go in the third. The players are set, ready to take an inbound. Rangers extend to 5-3 to three lead over the Devils. And right now, the Trocek wins the faceoff. He now gives it back to Kane. Wood with the steal. He goes to McClellan. Shot is tipped wide. Now Wood rebounds it. Pass broken up, and a penalty is on New York. That goes with a slashing call. Another penalty kill. It's not very really easy if you're going to try to like keep the man in open range. It's not going to be easy. Right now, the butterfly effect is on Igor Shesterkin as Bane Press has more. Igor Shesterkin has a lot of butterfly effects that he has maintained as up with the position. Because of his moment, it was a speeding taking over with the butterfly effect. On the Devils, he has a wild save to maintain his way on the pressure. With that one, it's a hard one to try to maintain its board. Good stop here by, by Vicek as the puck goes off the goalpost. And because of Igor Shesterkin has one, he has maintained his up in his aggressive run. Butterfly effects is a better way to make maintain his board. I'll be keeping an eye on here for a next power play for, for Igor Shesterkin. Let's see if he can come up with a huge wild saves if he keeps it going. Back to you, son of peace. Here she goes, lost the puck. Try to rebound a buck here for Adam Fox. Clears the puck out. Mercer takes it over. Pull out shot stopped by Shesterkin. Igor Shesterkin really going to keep that one going all night long. Severson right towards back the other way. Mercer over to Hister. 20 seconds for the power play goal. Time is winding down. Pull out! Love save here by Shesterkin. Sign is ready to go. The Devils unable to make a power play goal as they have maintained its way to a period expiration and expired for the Devils power play. Yeah, very good job here for Igor Shesterkin. He's really like a good one to try to maintain it up. All he has gotten is, was a lot of wild saves in this game. And because of that one, they rarely have maintained it right towards them his way. I was seeing it before because everyone is keeping the pass out there. Every team, everyone is looking for him. They really wanted to keep that one going. Now the faceoff is coming up here for, for the Rangers and the Devils. Now with the win. Here's Graves back to Severson. Who's in the middle? Shot to wide. Now back to Kreider with 6 25 left to go. Who's gives it over to Brad? The New York Rangers are on the territory as the Devils are on the attack. Lindgren on to Zibanejad. Zibanejad gets squished up with a rebounding puck. Graves. Back to Brad. Gives off to Mir. Mir swings it back over to Hughes. Hughes in the corner. Looking for room. Two on one shot stopped by Shesterkin. Oh, Mir would have been slamming on here. If the roughing was the call for the interference, they could have a devil's penalty kill. Oh, uh, almost. 
Who's right towards the middle. Trying to look for a clear pass. Beer shot! Stopped by Sesterkin. Rebound in the puck here is Lindgren. Lindgren trying to make a move. Trocek back the other way. Gives it off to Artemi Panarin. Panarin moves a shot. Gets tipped wide and this goes out, out right towards the glass. Now he gives it over to Hischier. Hischier and her team are making another new change up here and Truba back the other way. Lapanier with the puck. Lapanier getting a little wrapped around here. Shot! Rebounding stop made by Vicek. Vicek was able to make that one clear. The better vision is not really going to be enough to maintain its run. Every player, it's a hard one to get. Puck carries out of play. We got a face off coming up. Now the players are set, ready to take an inbound in the middle. The Rangers have a 5 to 3 lead over the Devils. And a shot stopped by Shesterkin. He's very right, good. Very quick moment out there. Lafreniere in the wing. Back passing over to Capo Caco. Shot blocked up by Hala. New Jersey on their way to make the attack. Boquist shot stopped by Shesterkin. A lot of back to back switches out there as he goes to Sturkin making a big save. Yeah, he's pretty due. Especially if you don't have another way to give that one here with the pack back to a passes. You gotta keep that one up there for good. Moto right towards the back of the way. We're down to two minutes to play in the third period. Looking for a lead extension. Three to one. That might be the next one to get in there. Yeah, I was hoping for. They ready to take the lead? Hopefully they're gonna get this one done. Hala back with the puck. Looking for a team. Mikola! Firing the puck over to Moto. Pass the Panarin. Shot! Stop by Vicek. One minute of play in the third period as the period is winding down in game four. Buck misfires and this one will go out of reaching sight. Now he gives the Truba back over again to Moto. Moto slams up in the corner. Right by the visitor's bench. Panarin, trying to battle along the board. Siganaller, right back to Mercer. 30 seconds for the Devils to take the advantage. Now they got an empty netter. They're up for it. Igor stop. Reach again. And it's still too close to call. Icing is the call here on New York Rangers with 24.1 seconds. Now with the call, we have his paintbrush. Jack Coos is making this one bit ranging of his difficult sight. He has his one most of his slight edges on the corner. His better play of accuracy passing is given up here one many shots on the goal. And it's Aaron Senko. He really has given over with a snipe on the goal. He maintained his pressure. When he gives a look at the open pass, he tries to go with an open shot and try to make a snipe with a quick shot release. These two guys are the heavy ones here. I'll be keeping an eye on you know, one of the players and see who will try to finish the game here. Back to you guys. Block the shot by Terence Senko. Short check. Scaries it deep. And one last icing call before the faceoff and the time going down to zero. Just about 5.6 seconds. One more faceoff here. And the crowds are standing up. Praise! Say! And that will do. The Rangers pick a win. 3-1 to series over the Devils. What a game this is. And because of Igor Shostakin, they really enjoy the game here at the Garden. What a great night for the New York Rangers. They are also looking to the fans, and we definitely are Rangers Town. <laughs> That's right. I know that was a tough one, but we enjoyed it. Now, as we're being said, Son of East, along with Fan and Paintbrush, this has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Now we go over to Meat Phone to close out for the three star players of the game. Good night, everyone. All right, thank you so much here, Son of East, and now let's get the game set. Five and three, the Rangers are looking for a way to make the win and head back to the second round.
Here's how they did. The first star goes out to Artemi Panarin, a goal and assist. He got a great eyes out there, making it snappy. Trying to make that shot and make that goal in there. The second star goes out to Jacob Truba, a goal and assist. Really good turn out. A lot of motion. The captain maintaining its way right towards right from the assistant captain and making a goal. And your first star goes to Vincent Trocek. That's two goals. All three Rangers team were in the three star players of the game. And with that being said, here's how the statistics all come out. 87% for the passing of the Devils and 78% for the Rangers. Only 12-19 time on attack for the Rangers and 5-11 for the New Jersey Devils. 18 hits for the New Jersey Devils and 14 for the Rangers. 39 shots on goal for the, for the Devils and 36 shots on goal for New York Rangers. Power play made here. As for Vincent Trocek has got a goal, he has a one goal to put the power play and now they have it up. One and two is the power play goal for the New York Rangers and with the Devils, no power play goal. Only 251 power play minutes for the New York Rangers and no short game goals for in between teams. So that being said, thank you all for watching and if you're tuning in to the Bolts and the Leafs, we got the next one to cover here back at the Amali Arena. I will be hosting here for tonight's commentary, and right now for this part of the game, along with me and, and Silver Spoon, and OJ is at the center of the ice that will be here for the next game. With that being said, peace out everyone for a while as the NHL of the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports Dial. Thank you so much for tuning in, and good night New York City of Manhattan, the Rangers Town along with the others of the Hudson River Siri rival of the New Jersey Devils. We'll see you again in Game 5 soon. Adios, amigos. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.